Before you start making a product, you first need to understand what the product is that you're making. A foaming scrub is an exfoliating product that also lathers and foams. So unlike anhydrous body scrubs, they have to have some kind of cleansing surfactant to produce lather. That means that the scrub is going to have to be an aqueous formula since all cleansing surfactants are aqueous. Aqueous means that the product contains water and anhydrous means that the product only contains oil and oil soluble ingredients. As I mentioned in my last video in this series, you can't actually use sugar or salt in an aqueous scrub because sugar and salt both dissolve in water. But the type of foaming scrub I'll be talking about in this video is actually an exception to that rule. Although the sugar can dissolve over time, so it's best to use a coarse sugar or a coarse salt to help counter that. Welcome back to my Formulating for Beginner series. The whole point of this series is to actually teach you how to come up with your own unique formulas rather than just teaching you how to copy someone else's recipe. In this video, I'll be talking about foaming scrubs. My last video in this series was all about anhydrous body scrubs. So go back and watch that video so you're caught up with everything we're gonna talk about here. If you don't understand how to write a formula or how to transfer a formula into a recipe, then you need to go back and watch all the other videos in the series in order to be part of this discussion. I'll actually be dividing this video up into chapters. If you go down to you know the little bar where you can actually fast forward and rewind the video, you'll notice it's uh, divided up into little chapters. That way you can just fast forward throughout the video to specific sections because this video is going to be a long video and there's a lot of information covered in this video. I'll also have a blog over on my Patreon that is a written out version of this video. You know, it's a blog, obviously it's written. My Patreon will be linked down below just in case you would rather read this video or you can even download the blog, print it out and then go back to it and like read it whenever you need to. All right, so let's begin. The best surfactant for foaming scrubs would be SCI, sodium cocal isothionate. It is a specialty anionic powder surfactant made from all vegetable renewable sources, primarily coconut. It is used to impart extra mildness, good afterfeel, and good foaming in many personal care and cleansing products. In other words, this surfactant comes in a powder form and it's gentle enough to be used on sensitive skin and even on babies. SCI does need to be dissolved in a liquid surfactant, so you need to pick out a liquid surfactant to pair the SCI with. Cocomandopril betaine pairs perfectly with SCI. Cocomandopril betaine is an amphoteric surfactant, so it helps increase mildness to your product and it also helps increase lather and foam. You can use any other liquid surfactant you want, but you wanna look for a surfactant that has a lower pH somewhere between four to like six. So you don't have to worry about adjusting the pH of your final formula. It just makes formulating so much easier. Say hi to everybody, Luna. So SCI has a pH between five to 6.5 and cocomandopril betaine has a pH between five to six. So when you're using both of these surfactants together, you don't have to worry about adjusting the pH of your end product making production faster and less of a hassle. So if you don't know anything about pH, then you wanna go back and watch my video on pH. It's part of this Formulating for Beginner series, so go watch that, I'll link it down below. pH is extremely important to know when it comes to formulating cosmetics. You're also gonna need some kind of hardener for your foaming scrub, so it has some kind of structure to it. This way you can actually pick up your scrub and massage it into your skin. The best ingredient for this is stearic acid. Stearic acid actually works like a surfactant because it helps strip the skin of dirt and oil. It also moisturizes the skin, hardens the product, and helps create a rich lather that feels velvety. It also has occlusive properties, helping the skin remain hydrated to prevent or slow down moisture loss from skin. There is a common misconception that stearic acid is an emulsifier. An emulsifier is an ingredient that binds oil and water together because oil and water don't mix. So we need some kind of ingredient to mix the two together. And that's what an emulsifier is. But stearic acid isn't an emulsifier, it's a co-emulsifier. So it's not strong enough to blend a high amount of oil into water. So if you're gonna wanna add oil into your foaming scrub, you're going to need to use some kind of emulsifier. 
emulsifying wax nf would be good read almost scg or live 1000 or really any other emulsifier that you like but stearic acid should be strong enough to keep like one to two percent of your fragrance oil emulsified so here are the main ingredients needed for a foaming scrub we talked about sci and then we talked about a liquid surfactant. Pokemon Dopril Betaine is what I talked about, but here's a list of other liquid surfactants you could use. You also wanna add in some kind of humectant to help hydrate the skin. Glycerin is what is most commonly used in foaming scrubs, but you can use any of these other humectants if you would like as well. And then we want stearic acid as our hardener, and then you need some kind of exfoliant sugar or salt but like i said those will dissolve over time so if you don't want to deal with that there's so many other exfoliants you can use that i've listed here and i'm sure there's even more that i don't know of so if you use basic like white granulated sugar it's not going to have a very strong exfoliation and this is due to the ingredients used in the scrub the sei and the stearic acid really soften the feel of the product so you don't really get that harsher exfoliation it's extremely mild so this is why you want to use like coarse sugar or coarse salt as an exfoliant, or you can use coffee grounds. That's a really good cheap alternative to sugar and salt, or you can use any other exfoliant that I mentioned before, but those are going to be more pricey. But using a coarse sugar or salt is what's recommended for foaming scrubs since the salt and sugar may dissolve over time in this formula. So ideally for best results, you wanna use an exfoliant that won't dissolve in water, but you still can totally use sugar. That is what like so many people use in foaming scrubs. Just keep in mind that it's not going to be a really harsh exfoliation. Okay, so here's a simple formula to make a foaming scrub. And then here's the recipe I'm gonna be using. So starting with a heat safe beaker, I'm adding in the water, the cocoa and betaine, the glycerin, and make sure before adding in the SCI, you put on a respirator. It is so important. This powder gets airborne so easily and you do not want to breathe this stuff in. So make sure you're gently adding it into the formula without getting the powder everywhere, okay? So just be gentle with it because this stuff loves to go everywhere. And then go ahead and mix in the SCI gently as much as you can. And then grab a mixing bowl and add in the stearic acid. So once both phases are weighed out, go ahead and cover both with some foil. And then we're gonna place them in a water bath to help melt everything down. And you might need to give the SCI mixture a little bit of a mix here and there to get the SCI to completely dissolve. And once everything is melted and dissolved, you can pour the SCI phase into the stearic acid. Then go ahead and whip it with your hand mixer. And you'll notice as you whip it up, it'll start to get really fluffy. but this specific formula is super, super fluffy as you can see. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my mica powder and mix that in. And then once it's cooled to under 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go ahead and add in your preservative. And then I'm gonna add in my sugar. And again, if you want this to be a more harsh exfoliation, you're gonna wanna use something more abrasive than just a basic white sugar because that's what I'm using, because I'm not really too concerned with it being really exfoliating. I'm just looking for a mild exfoliation. And then this is the time you would add in a fragrance oil, but I want to keep this one unscented, so I won't be adding one in. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix the sugar in, and I like to mix the sugar in by hand first, so my hand mixer doesn't get the sugar everywhere. If you have a kitchen aid, I'm sure that helps prevent the sugar from going everywhere, but I don't have one, so I have to be careful. And then I'm just going to jar up my whip scrub. And here's how it looks the first day, but it does look a little bit different the next day. It does harden up just a little bit, but here's how it looks. So it doesn't harden up too much. It's still super fluffy. And I think this has like a really like similar texture to like marshmallow fluff, but obviously it's not like as sticky as marshmallow fluff. And I really like the spreadability of the scrub. At first, when I made all these scrubs, this one was my favorite. But the more I use these scrubs, I kind of like the second one that I'm going to make next. But this recipe here is definitely the fluffiest out of all the scrubs I'm going to make in this video. And this one's the most like airy and lightweight. And here it is being rubbed into a loofah just to kind of show you guys how much lather and foam this stuff really has. It lathers up so well. And I don't know if you noticed, but a foaming scrub formula is literally just a whipped soap formula cut in half. 
with the addition of like 50% sugar or whatever exfoliant you want or whatever percentage you wanna use the exfoliant. You don't have to use it at 50%, whatever you want. All right, so here's a formula for a foaming scrub with the addition of oil, because I know you guys are gonna ask me that, so I went ahead and made one for you guys. And then this is the formula transferred into the recipe, and that's the recipe I'm gonna be using. So you just wanna do everything the same way. Put your cocamon darpal betaine and your glycerin and your water all in the heat safe beaker and then add in the SCI and then just mix in the SCI gently until it's all mixed into your liquid ingredients. And then grab a heat safe mixing bowl and add in your stearic acid, your emulsifying wax, and your oil. I'm using sunflower oil here, but you can use any other plant oil you would like. And then just cover both phases with some foil. And I just like to do this to prevent any water from the water bath getting into the formulation. And once they're all heated and melted, pour the SCI phase into the stearic acid phase and just mix it up and whip it. And this batch is smaller. It's 100 grams less than the batch I made before. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the mica powder and mix that in. And as you can see, it's definitely not fluffing up as much as the last formula. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Liquid Dermal Plus once it's cooled to 100 degrees and under. Add in the fragrance oil, mix that in, and then add in my sugar. And this one actually does end up being more exfoliating than the last one because it does have a higher percentage of sugar in it. And also, I think since the scrub is more dense rather than fluffy, as you can see here, it's so much more dense. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a putty type of texture. I think that would be a good way to describe it. And when I first made all these scrubs, I wasn't too fond of this one because I really liked the fluffiness of the foaming scrubs, but the more I use this, the more I, I think I really like it. So if you're looking for a foaming scrub that's not super fluffy and airy, this formula I think would be the one that you would like. But you can really see here how not fluffy it is, and it does take a little bit longer to sort of work into your skin because it is thicker, but I don't really think that's a really bad thing. I don't know, I really like it. And here I am just showing you with the loofah again, just to show you how much lather it really has. So you guys could even use this stuff as a body wash if you needed to. All right, and lastly, I want to make an advanced foaming scrub formula. So this one is kind of just gonna be more fun with like kind of like extra ingredients in it because there are a bunch of other kinds of ingredients you can use in foaming scrubs. For example, you can add butters, extracts, proteins, any other kind of powders you want, vitamins, anything that's oil or water soluble can be added into a foaming scrub. Okay, correction. Stay away from cationic surfactants. Since SCI, which is the main ingredient in foaming scrubs, is anionic, you can't actually use cationic surfactants. Unless the cationic surfactant you're using specifically specifies that it can be used with anionic surfactants. So definitely keep that in mind. By the way, I do have a video all about surfactants, so I'll link that down below in case you need to learn more about surfactants. All right, so here's a formula for my advanced foaming scrub. This is a strawberry mango foaming scrub. And then here's the formula transferred into the recipe I'm gonna be using. Once again, take a heat safe beaker, add in your water, your cocamon doppel betaine, your glycerin, and then top it off with your SCI and then just mix it in. Then grab your mixing bowl, add in your stearic acid, and then your emulsifying wax. You could also use Redemol's SCG or any other waxy emulsifier. The oil and the butter, you can use whatever plant oil and whatever butter you would like. Cover both phases with foil, place it in a water bath, let it heat and melt down, and then pour your SCI phase into your stearic acid phase, and then whip it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mica powder. And you'll actually see that this red doesn't get super red until the next day. You guys will see. It'll end up being kind of more like a dark pink when we're done, but then the next day when I get it out, it'll be like red. So once it's cooled, we can add in the preservative. And then I'm gonna add in some strawberry extract, but you can use whatever extract you would like. And then I added in the fragrance oil. And then I noticed after I added all those, it did get a lot fluffier. And then I'm gonna add in the sugar and then the cranberry seeds. And I thought this would be just a nice way to add a little bit of texture to the scrub. It didn't really turn out as pretty as I thought it would, but whatever, it, it was a good thought. It actually does look better on camera than it does in person. 
And I'm just going to mix it all in by hand, just, you know, keep the sugar from going everywhere. And then once the sugar is mixed in, give it one last mix with the hand mixer. And see, as you can tell, it's like a, a dark pink right here, kind of, but it'll be more red tomorrow. You'll see. Bam, look at it. Look how red that is. And this one is a good in between um, the first one and the, the second one, the blue one I made. It's not quite as fluffy as the first one, but it's definitely fluffier than the blue one. I don't know. I really like this one too. I can't really figure out which one's my favorite. Again, it's easy to work into the skin, not quite as easy as the pink one, but still easy enough. It lathers and foams a lot. It's super nice. I recommend all these formulas, and I think you guys should try them all out to sort of see which one you prefer the most. Because you may like something really fluffy like the pink one, or maybe something more dense like the blue one, or maybe something in between like the red one. I don't know. You'll have to try them and see what you think. So there are like an endless amount of different types of formulas you can use for scrubs. I talked all about this in my last video, but this is just the most common method used for foaming scrubs, SCI with stearic acid. I'm sure there's tons of different ways to make foaming scrubs, like maybe like a gel-based foaming scrub or something. I've never made one, but I'm sure you can. This is just the most popular way, and that's why I decided to focus on this method for this video. So let me know what type of product you guys would like to see me focus on next for my Formulating for Beginners series. I really want to do one on toners and face mists, but I know a lot of you guys asked for aqueous scrubs and lip scrubs in the last video, but I don't know, just let me know down in the comments what product you want me to focus on next. And maybe I'll pick the most popular one in the comments, or I'll just pick whichever one I feel like doing. I don't know. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in and how busy I am. But yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this Formulating for Beginners series. I'm having a great time making these videos. I'm really proud of them. They're a lot more work, but they just give me a lot more satisfaction. And I love seeing your guys' response to them because you guys really, really seem to enjoy it. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I really, really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's get into the Patreon shout outs. Yeah.